Hello everyone, I'm Hannah Jasmine Santos and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, we will now go to our experiment number 14 which is synchronous counters. So this counter using the same clock signal from the same source at the same time. So that is synchronous counter. Here, the counting sequence is controlled by the means of the clock pulse. And now, let's go in our simulation of the synchronous counter. So, hello everyone. We are now in our experiment number 14, which is synchronous counter. So, here in our multi-SIM, we have here our IC, which is 74LS160. And you can see that there is in 1, 2, in 5, that is our LED, our 5 volts, the switch, D1, D2, D3, clock, and the ground. So now let's interconnect the circuit. So you can see in the screen the circuit that we will do. So first... We will connect first our switch. This D1 is connected in the number um, 1. Next, our D2 is in the number 9. D3 is in the number 7 which is number 10 is also connected in the number 7 so let's connect okay then after that we will connect the switch to the negative and positive side so this is our ground and we will connect D1 to the ground and follow by D2 and D3. Then this one is in the 5 volts. So follow again by the D1, D2. Okay. So next, let's go to the um, LEDs. So we have here in 5 which is connected here in the number 15 so let's connect then the in 4 is connected in the number 14 then this in 3 is in the number 13 in 2 is number 12 and in one is for the number 11 so after that after we connect this we will connect the negative side of the lead to the ground so I connect first the in 5 followed by the in 4, in 3, in 2, and in 1. Okay. Next, how about this number 2 which is our clock? So, we will connect this here. And number 8 is for the ground also. So, how about number 16? So, number 16 is connected in the 5 volts okay so let's check our interconnection of the diagram show I think that's correct so let's proceed so in the procedure it says that we need to make switch D3 to high position so we will make this on while D1 and D2 is 
at low or off position okay so let's switch on the power supply or let's run so after that it says that switch on both d1 and d2 so we will switch this on and also d1 okay observe the light pattern display by in one in two in three and in four identify the led patterns display by these leds so you can see here that there's a pattern display count in sequence so watch ito mauuna yung in four then okay in 4, followed by in 3, then dalawa sila, then in 2, dalawang in 4, in 2, and after in 4, in 2, magiging in 3, in 2, and magsasabay yung in 4, in 3, and in 2. So again, in 4, in 3, sabay, in 2, sabay sila, tas in 3, in 2, tas silang tatlo, tapos magiging, ang mangyari, magkakasabay na sa huli itong in 1, in 4, and in 5. So, that pattern is from 0 to 9, which is 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, next. When does the output in 5, 15 go high? So, kailan daw nagiging um, at logic 1 itong in 5? So, nagiging at logic 1 siya, kapag um, after the reaching the count 1001 so you can see na kapag nag 1001 na ito kasabay niya yung in 5 so um, the in 5 detect when the counting sequence reaches 1001 and causes to toggle on the next clock pulse it toggles on every clock pulse thus the count is reset and start over again at 0 0 0 0 so mag pag naabot na niya yung in 5 kapag umilaw na yung in 5 ibig sabihin noon um uulit na siya sa 0 0 0 0 so in that case, it producing a synchronous decade counter. So, decade counter yung tawag sa synchronous counter na ito. Next, let's stop. Um, disconnect the jumper from the clock pulse generator to the clock input. What happens to the counting? So, um, di-disconnect natin itong clock in the clock input then let's run titignan natin kung anong mangyayari kapag hindi siya nakakonect sa um, clock input so ang nangyayari there's no um, there's no counting here there's no pattern displayed so next um, switch d3 to logic low position what happens to the circuit so babalik muna natin tong clock Okay, so ano daw mangyayari kapag itong D3 ay naka-switch off while D2 and D1 is switch on? So, the circuit will... Um, okay, sorry, let's run first. Okay, nakikita nyo, ba? Meron siyang pattern. Pero what if i gagawin natin low position yung D3? Yung D3 lang, ha? Okay, merong pattern. Pero kapag minake natin yung D3 as low position, um, the circuit will stop. nag stop na yung pattern niya. Hindi na nag-continue yung sequence. Okay, next. For the next, what should be the condition of control pin 1, which is connected to the D1, um, pin 9 connected to the D2, and pin 10 and 7 which is connected to D3 
So, ano daw mangyayari? Ay! Right. What should be the condition of control pins para maging continuously yung count niya? So, the condition is we need to be on high position. So, the pins said earlier needs to be high position or at logic 1 to make the pattern continuously count. Okay? So, next, um, describe the operation of this IC counter. So, ayun nga, tulad ng sabi ko kanina, the operation of this counter is what we call decade counter that counts from 0 to 9 or 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 0, 0, 1. So, that's all for today. I hope you learned something new about this experiment number 14, Synchronous Counter. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you!